This video answers questions that we are asked all the time about how to protect yourself from the new generation of unsafe and unlawful digital electric meters and how to deal with the misconduct of your power company. When you understand the materials we offer at freedomtaker.com, you will have a much better chance at making your home safe and private against invasive, unhealthful, and unsafe electric meters. First, and most important, is probably the legal notice. We offer this notice for $9.95 for a download at freedomtaker.com, and it's also included in the uh, meter replacement kit you see displayed here. The legal notice is more than seven pages long. We update this regularly. You edit some information on this notice, and we give you a CD-ROM to do that. You just load it in your computer. There's full instructions there. You add your name and address, things like that, and then you print it out and send it to your power company by certified mail. It informs the power company in clear language with legal references that digital meters are unsafe and unlawful. In other words, you are noticing your power company that they are in criminal misconduct by installing digital electric meters. Why is this so important? Because the power company operates on something it calls implied easement. You always let them maintain your electric service before so they feel they can do whatever they want to maintain it now. By allowing them on your property to read and maintain your meter, they have assumed you will allow them to come on your property to commit crimes. As odd as it seems, you have to give them formal notice telling them they may not do that because they are sneaking in and playing stupid as if they don't know the difference between a safe analog meter and a digital radiation emitting surveillance device. So with our notice, you tell them on the record that they are now breaking the law and you do not give consent for their radiation and surveillance on your property. This is in writing and you will receive proof of service by certified mail. After receiving that, they can no longer pretend they have a right of easement or access to your property for those purposes. And the meter installer is, in fact, inviting criminal and civil actions against himself if he attempts to install a digital meter on your property. The notice then tells the power company they have a limited time, say three weeks, to remove any unlawful device. And if they fail to do so by that time, you will act in self-defense and replace the device yourself with a safe and lawful meter of your choosing. You may give them less time than three weeks if you suffer health effects from the digital meter. Many people do. The notice tells them that the analog meter you provide will be calibrated, zeroed, and standard and will provide accurate readings of your electricity use. There's no reason they can't use that meter to calculate your billing as they have always done. You are paying for that service. Remember, you have done nothing wrong. You are only demanding that the power company obey the law and observe your property rights. And you send that notice, which is the formal demand in writing with, by certified mail. And after receiving that notice, if the power company calls you, knocks on your door, or sends you any message with any denial, threat, or bullying, you simply give them a photocopy of the certified letter and the delivery receipt and tell them to read it. They don't get their way simply by ignoring their mail. Your notice is enforceable. The only lawful response to your notice is to give you a safe analog meter. The digital meter installation is a violation of the law. So your job then is only to repeat your notice and let them know. If they contact you with any threats, any intimidation, that is non-responsive to your notice, that is irrelevant to your notice, that is admission of unlawful conduct, and that's all it is. Once the three weeks has passed, you may wish to send them a notice of default. We offer those notices free of charge to people who purchase our notices here. If the power company has failed or refused to provide a safe and lawful meter within that three weeks, according to your requirement as property owner and as occupant, they are now in violation of both the law and your authorized demand. You may then, under full authority as the owner or occupant of the property and in self-defense of your health, safety, and rights, replace the meter with a safe and lawful analog meter, such as the ones we offer in our meter replacement kits. And then again, if your power company accuses you of tampering or stealing electricity, if they threaten to cut off your service, 
refer them to our notice that you sent them. All that is covered in the notice, and they have no legal grounds or authority to trouble you in any way because, again, it is the power company committing the violation, not you. Simply give them another photocopy of the notice any time they cause you trouble. Give them 20 copies if you have to. That notice is enforceable not only by repetition, but also by submitting in a court action or a police report. There is prison time for any individual who colludes or acts to install a radiation-emitting surveillance device on your property without your consent. After they receive the notice, if they come to your property to install a digital meter, you simply give them the photocopy and tell them to leave. And if they don't leave, you call 911 and tell the police you wish to have a trespasser taken into custody and you wish to file a formal complaint of criminal trespass. You must press charges if the power company does not get the message. It may help to have a locked gate or some dogs, whatever, but they can just call that obstruction. It is really the legal notice that prevents them from entering your property to install the unsafe and unlawful meter. And it is the notice that will cause them to be in serious liability and obligation to you if they do install that digital meter. If you think the police may get involved on the power company's behalf, on request we will give you a notice to inform your local police that they have no jurisdiction to assist or enforce on behalf of your power company. Police can be sued if they use their weapons, badges, and authority to enforce any corporate policy. They are strictly prohibited from doing that. You should respond to any unwanted police action by immediately demanding to see a court order. Again, the courts are prohibited from issuing warrants for enforcement of corporate policy, so it's hard to imagine how there could be a court order for police enforcement of your power company's desire of a particular meter on your property. The power company has no right to enlist police assistance in the installation of meters unless there is a true threat to public safety. As long as you only demand your meter be safe and lawful and you do not threaten the power company with physical violence in any way, the police have no business whatsoever intervening in the matter. The power company may not threaten or retaliate to shut off your electricity as long as you are paying your bill, not threatening violence, and only demanding a safe and lawful meter. Our notice covers that. If they threaten to retaliate in any way, give them a copy of your notice with the mail delivery receipt to prove the date of delivery. If you have to repeat the notice, you may want to send them a cover letter summarizing your demands and positions, pointing out each of their repeated violations and referring them to the notice. Keep track every time they threaten to install the digital meter and the name of the person making the threat. Do not get into any conversations or telephone discussions about this with customer service personnel. All they can do is enforce policy or lose their jobs. They are paid to violate your rights and to intimidate you into accepting the unlawful meter or some ridiculous opt-out program where you pay to not be harmed. You need to do everything in writing with an authorized, accountable party at the power company. Your notice, and the instructions tell you how to do this, your notice goes to the CEO of the power company, not customer service. It holds that CEO personally liable. Never throw away any written correspondence and keep records and evidence of everything that happens. Get the name of anyone who contacts you from the co power company, whether they call, write, or appear at your property. The most important thing to remember, and this is easy to forget when your power company is violating and threatening you, is that as the property owner or as the occupant, you are the authorized party. You are the one with full and final right to control what is put on your property. You absolutely must remember that at all times, that you are the authority with regard to your property and that everyone else is required to protect and observe your property rights. Our elected representatives and public servants generally do not take responsibility for protecting our rights, health, and safety, even though it is their job. 
a single voter or citizen has virtually no tangible influence over any elected official. They were elected by hundreds of thousands or millions of votes, and once elected, have no particular reason or requirement to directly serve any one of those voters personally, as it would be impossible to serve all of them equally in that way. You will have to enforce this yourself as I've described, with assistance from the police if you have criminal trespassers. You are now, so to speak, the cop, judge, and jury because you have the authority as property owner or the occupant. Our notice document gives you the tools to enforce those rights. The next step is to install the meter if you have to replace that digital meter with your own analog meter. And that actually is the easy part. Our safe electric meter replacement kits are available at freedomtaker.com for $69.95. We include the meter, the accessories, the legal notice, and complete instructions. If the power company fails or refuses to satisfy your demand for a safe and lawful meter, you are then entitled to act in self-defense. The term self-defense is important legally because in self-defense, you can do a lot of things that you cannot do otherwise, such as replace your electric meter. At freedomtaker.com, there are contacts for us if you have any more questions. This video and our products do not constitute legal advice. These are personal opinions and discussions that may or may not be useful to you. I am not an attorney. Proceed at your own risk.